what's up today we're gonna learn how to use a basic caddy web server setup on your local machine so before we do that let's go to the caddy 2 website and download the software so and a good feature of caddy 2 is that they give up with the HTTPS so if you have any droplet you can actually use the caddy server to host your files we're gonna learn up with some basic setup so let's download it actually I have already downloaded it so let move let us move on let us open a documentation in the next tab let us go to caddy to folder this is the caddy application which I downloaded now I'm gonna open a command prompt with this and say caddy to these are the commands which we can start up with let's not worry about this commands now let's do a basic setup so in order to do that we need to create a new caddy file setup so we need to create a caddy file remember to have a c caps and a f that's fine so this file doesn't have any extension now we're gonna open with the notepad okay we are all set now let's go back to the browser and see what we can do now I'm on the documentation I have clicked with how to use a quick setup so this is how you use your local host setup now let's go back to our caddy file now let's run the command prompt and start with caddy 2 uh, I'm gonna use a run command iPhone hyphen, hyphen watch so it's been running let us go back to localhost see that the caddy server is running let me do a refresh cool now it's actually working you know so let us use uh, try to use multiple files I'm gonna copy this let us use some multiple localhost with ports and uh, so I'm gonna use this one localhost so I'm gonna go back to my caddy file and I'm gonna save this let us restart the server and let us go through it so it's actually working localhost is working now let's check with localhost 2016 so it's saying goodbye world oh cool it's it's working actually so now let's step is let's try with some caddy file static files where are you yeah it's here so you can actually use this localhost and you can actually use a root and a file server let us try this let us go back to this file instead of respond what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my folder uh, D my website here it is this is some static site so I'm gonna change this now make sure you use a forward slash I have changed it into a root directory and now I'm hosting some files let me restart I don't think you have to do a restart but actually see that now I'm actually running some files within my local that's it guys that's it about this video these are some basic setups of caddy 
it makes a lot of things easier thank you have a nice day bye